everyone, I'm Maya from Horizon Day Camp in Baltimore, Maryland, and welcome to Sketching with Maya! Except we will be doing something a little bit differently today because this week is... Does anybody know what week it is before I say it? That's right. This week is Under the Sea Week. So instead of sketching, we will be painting. But we won't be painting with regular paint. We will be painting with watercolor paint. Why? Because water makes up the sea. So we are going to be using water a lot today. The materials you will need for today includes watercolor sketching paper, watercolor paint, a glue stick, some napkins, a paintbrush and a cup of water but we won't be drinking this water we will be using this water to clean our brushes after we're done using a color so we don't mix our colors together if you don't have watercolor paint or watercolor painting paper that's okay you can use regular paper and any coloring utensils you have too the first thing I need you all to do is go outside and grab some grass if you can if you can't that's okay too you can draw in your grass or paint in your grass but we are going to be using the grass to represent our seaweed. Now that everybody has the grass, I want everyone to take the glue stick and glue the grass to the bottom of the page. But try to leave room in the middle between the seaweed so we have room to add in our sand and our seashells later. Now we have our seaweed. It should look a little something like this. Next, we're going to add in our seashells and our sand in between the seaweed. With our seashell and our sand, you may want to do the seashell first so we can then color in the sand around it without covering our seashell. We don't want to hide it, we want it to be seen. So, the way you would do your seashell is you would draw one rectangle in the middle of wherever you want your seashell to be to look like this. Then, you will draw a shorter slanted rectangle on both sides of the first rectangle that you drew. So, it'll look like this. You're going to do the same thing again, but draw an even shorter slanted rectangle on the outer sides of the ones that you just drew. And you're going to do that one more time to get that desired seashell shape that we would want. And it'll end out looking like this. But remember that we're going to paint it or color it in so we won't see the rectangles, but we will see a seashell shape like this. Now we have our seaweed, our sand, and our seashells. Next, we are going to add in any fish that we want, any color and any type. Now we have our fish. Next and finally, we are going to add in our water. And now we are finished. Thank you for joining me today, everyone. I hope everyone has a great day.